Megumi here. Welcome back to the next episode of the series of if you've ever wondered what happens when you put a sim racer that's never driven a real life race car into a real life race car, well this happens. For some folks it may be hard to believe but they might actually do well, which was my case. And now I'm even more enthralled with the auto racing than I've ever been and I want more. So let's go on a little journey and experience my driving school from April of 2024. Brought to you by Grass Paddock Motorsports. Megumi here. Today we have day two, session two. We are doing wet weather side by side practice. So the goal of this session is on the first four laps. We ride side by side at a decent reasonable pace on track and just get ourselves used to being side by side with another car. Uh, so the way this works is that on the back stretch the driver on the right lets off and slides behind the driver on the left and they do this for four laps. After four laps, we go to a green flag state and it's, you know, open track, back to hot lapping and racing. I also believe they throw us a little curveball with a uh, red flag in this session, so we'll find out if that occurs. If it did in this session, then I know that I learned uh, two good lessons from it. One was to stop on track, and two was to keep the engine running. I failed at doing both of those, so lesson learned there. Now my partner Greg and I, we will swap places. And unfortunately for him, he's going to have to pit, I think, after the next lap, or maybe the lap after that. I'm not entirely sure when it was, but his lower upper radiator hose had come off, so he began to overheat and had to hit the pits. Since I didn't have my partner out there on track with me no more, I basically had to, you know, pretend that I had somebody on my left or my right until we went to the green flag state, which that was good to do because that was the point of this initial practice session. trying to keep up with Greg but my tires just had no grip in them whatsoever it was so difficult but that made it a lot more fun anyways my time
Greg realized that he was having the overheating issue, but we'd also caught up to the uh, pack ahead of us, so we might have been slowing down for that, but he indicates that he needs to go pit. I said, okay, he needs to go pit. So I pull ahead of him a little bit so he can have access to pit lane. And now I wave bye-bye to him. Unfortunately, he's got to go in for his overheating issue. So now I'm going to forget what my goal was for this session and start striving, you know, quote-unquote normal lines and whatnot. Until I remember, oh yeah, I need to practice pretending to at least be side-by-side -side with somebody so I go back to doing the right thing. It. 
So valuable lesson right there. I wanted to see what's gonna happen if I let off full throttle or full throttle let off going into Big Bend. Rear tires were too cold and the car just went into that nice little snap over steer state. I almost caught it. Saved it. There's my first two X of the, the the race weekend. <laughs> Funny enough, though, even though that big old wall was coming up real quick, didn't even scare me at all. That was kind of interesting to me, but I could tell I definitely was not going to you know, slide off the track and hit it based off of how the car was sliding out. Still very fun, though.
red flag. We're gonna make two mistakes here. One, I'm pulling off the track, and two, I'm gonna shut the engine off. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, those cars suck. Yes, they do. All right, I'm gonna cut out the boring part. Touring three cars could just walk the dog on my car like it was nothing on that back stretch. <laughs> We're gonna have a little fun moment here though. This is my second favorite pass of the entire weekend coming up. He entered way wide, so I was like, ah! Oh, Try to go to the inside, see what happens here. Get plenty of room. Little hydroplane. Just far enough ahead to cut back down. <laughs> that was so intensely fun.
had that amazing fun pass. As always, remember to wave to the quarter marshals, the event staff. It's a cruddy, rainy day for them being stuck out in that weather while we're in the cars having a freaking blast. So, once again, lessons learned from this session red flag events, stop on track, keep the engine running. These tires definitely do not have the grip of the, the other set that I was on yesterday. I was struggling so bad, which was also good because that taught me a lot. lesson of lift off oversteer, especially with cold rear tires. <laughs> that really was a fun moment. Now, if you're looking for a driver's school, you know, definitely look into Waterford Hills. I can't state it enough how amazing it was. The amount of track time we got was impressive. The overall school structure was amazing. All the driving structures that we had that were giving tips and pointers. You know, it was fantastic. You can't go wrong if you come out to Waterford Hills for your driver's school. Here's the Grass Paddock Motorsports team. This is Trenton Kramer in his very own car where he got his first win at, ironically, Waterford Hills. He's a great mechanic, he works extremely hard, and if you're using him to take care of your vehicle or you just happen to be at the track with him, Crest Paddock Motorsports, you're in good hands. Now this guy right here in the middle of the photo, that's Frank Swartz. He's the owner and operator of Crest Paddock Motorsports. And like I said, earlier before, a big thank you to Frank for giving me this opportunity. I really appreciate it because without that little nudge, I would have never done this and got out in a real car. So I appreciate that little nudge a lot. So if you're in the market to hop into racing, a fantastic way to do that is to rent a ride. And Frank rents out rides all across the nation in V-Spec Mini Coopers. You can head over to his website at www.grasspaddock.com. Here's his cute little doggos, corgis. It took me almost two months to edit all of this. My computer was having a rough time. But I still can't believe it. I finally got to drive a race car in real life. See you in the next episode of What Happens When You Put a Sim racer that's never driven a race car into a real race car before. So, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a like, and if you like my content, feel free to subscribe. This is Megumi. Thanks for watching.